What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this Cristiano Ronaldo welcome home poster. Pretty simple technique. There's, you know, there's a few things that go into it. Bit of rip paper, you know, cutting up some images, but that's about it really. So if you are enjoying these videos, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, thank you for all the support on the recent videos. It's been uh, a lot of new subscribers, so welcome to the channel and I hope you're enjoying the videos. And let's get straight into this. First things first, you are going to be presented with this texture pack, which will be in the link down below. So if you just go download that, then that's all you need to do. Uh, turn this layer off, and then you've got all the stuff that you're going to need for this design. So first things first, we're going to make a new document. So go to new document, make this 1080 by 1350, and then a resolution of 300, and that should be good. So once you've created that, all you need to do is basically go in to your texture pack and get this images folder, which is going to have all the images in, and then we're just going to drag and drop this in. Now this might take a while to load just because there are a lot of images, but don't worry about that. There's nothing to worry about. It's just gonna take, it's just the speed of your computer basically. It just takes a while to load. So once it's all loaded in guys, what we need to do is turn off some of the images. So if we just go in, we can sort of go through and turn off some images. Um, they're all in position, so you don't really need to worry about the position. But the only thing is we are gonna have to cut out some images. So um, actually, they, they are all in position, but you need to move them down. Sorry, so let me just turn these all back on quickly. Once you need to, do, 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 do. there we go, so they're all on. So hold Command T on the actual folder and then sort of move them down a little bit just so it's probably, probably about there. Okay, so about there, that's good. And then we can click OK. So once they are all in position and it loads, you can start turning them all off again. So just go down, turn all the layers off that you need off. There we go and then we can just sort of play around with these ones now. So first image I'm gonna want you to edit is this one in the top left. So what you need to do is make a layer mask and then you're gonna to need to go to your brushes. So there's gonna be a torn paper brush uh, link down below. So all you need to do is go down, download that and then install the brushes. It will show you how. Um, and once you've installed them, you can sort of start cutting these images out. So once you've got your brushes, um, you wanna get your brush tool and just sort of increase the size a little bit and make your brush a little make your brush a little bit bigger and then all you're going to need to do is rotate it a little bit just so you can rip it from the side so a bit like this um, make sure it's quite angled though so like that is good now as you can see we can only see the top of the design which is what we want um, and then we can sort of turn a few more images on that are up around it so that one's down below so you don't need to worry about that one too much um, this one is going to be up here so you want that one around there um, it's going to be this one which is going to be around here as well but you want to rip this one up as well I think and um, we're gonna make this one a little bit bigger up here so I like that and um, so it's obviously gonna cover this bit we are gonna cut it out though eventually so we've got that one there got this one here and we're gonna layer mask this one so number six you want to layer mask so I cut the top off and then we're gonna cut this bottom off here um, and then we're gonna rotate our brush again so it's like that start ripping this side as well so once we've ripped that side we want to rip the top as well so there's gonna be a lot of cutting and you know ripping bits off um, but trust me it's worth it it just gets you that desired effect. So as you can see, we've sort of made a nice little dent into it. So number five, create a layer mask on that one as well. Let's just make this sort of diagonal again, like that, perfect. So just gonna take a little bit more off number six as well. So we've got that, that's a really nice start to the design. We can turn a few more of these images on now. So as you can see, this one's gonna go there. Gonna have this one here. So we're gonna make that one there. Now these two are gonna be ripped up as well. So we're gonna layer mask this one, go to our brush tool, and start sort of cutting out bits of this one. Let's do that. That's nice. Then we can go. Obviously, you're gonna have to keep rotating your brush, guys, just so you know you keep uh, getting that effect that you need. So that looks that's looking quite good so far. Um, this one here, we are gonna cut out a little bit, but not too much. Just just enough so it fits in with everything else. So that's nice. Now I am gonna cut a little bit of this one at the top. So number five again. I'm gonna cut a little bit off the bottom, I mean, sorry. Um, so if we just go to that. So we can cut a little bit off it. We don't need to do too much for this one because it's gonna be covered by um, something else that's in the top right. So you don't really need to worry about that, but this is a good start so far. So let's just go back to this image here. Make sure you do cut everything, like all the little bits out. You don't want bits that are, um, you know, not meant to be there. So that's good. Got that in there. Now what we need to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this a little bit staggered. So we've prepared like, three quarters of the images now let's go back to the texture pack once you're in the texture pack you want to turn on something called paper rips and then you can see where all the rips are going to be 
Now these are a bit, you know, off angled, but that's pretty much about where they need to be. You can see them, all you need to do is drag them and drop them across. So this red one has a gradient map on it. So you can either convert this to a smart object um, and drag it across, or you can just, you know, drag the gradient map with it. So I'm gonna drag that and that, the white one. So let's just go and take those across. And this red one is just gonna sit quite nicely up here. So we've got that red one there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get that white one take that one across. Uh, actually, it's got levels on top of it, so you can convert that to a smart object as well. Drag it across, and then we've got this nice little white effect as well. So as you can see, sort of so far, we've got quite a nice little design coming on there. So there's one thing to note with this, you want to make sure the white is underneath the red, and you want to make sure the paper rips are on top of the images. So make sure you bring them all the way to the top, and then we get this nice little effect. And now, as you can see this image in the corner, we can see where it's meant to be cut out. So we can get a basic hard brush so if we go back up get a nice hard brush and we can sort of go into where this image is cut it away obviously because it's not meant to be there because it's on the paper rip that's exactly where it wants to be cut away so about there and now we can just follow what the rips say so now while we've cut this image we can go back in get a brush and get our black tool and just start painting in that image again um, and obviously you can make it bigger as well so it fits and let's get our brush and start painting away that bit that's overlapped there. So a lot of it is making sure it's in within the boundaries. You don't need to rush it, take your time with it. It's um, quite a fiddly, you know, fiddly job. You don't want to rush too much of it. But that's basically the idea of it. So if we go in and we can turn some more images on now. So we've got this one up here, so this one's gonna need to be ripped, isn't it? So let's get a layer mask, go into our brushes, and just get a rip brush again. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. Uh, let's just rotate it a little bit so it's like that start ripping out the top and then we can rotate it again so it's another angle so we can rip it off here and then rotate it again a lot of rotating going on um but it, it's worth it trust me um so let's have it about there move this guy up a little bit and we can just sort of fill in the blanks so if we just fill that bit in there and cut that bit out there so we keep his hair in that's good so let's get the rest of the images on here just so we know what we're working with so we can leave that big one for now turn that one off the white text is already on the image, so let's just move this guy over here. That's nice. Uh, this one, I'll leave that for now. And then this one is going to go here. So if we just make this one a little bit bigger, what I am going to do is get a layer mask on 13, go into the brushes, and just sort of rip that one again, like I was doing before. And then we're going to rip the top as well, just a little bit. Only a little effect, so you don't need to do anything major on that one. And now that we've got most of the images turned on, uh, apart from 12, we, which we can do quickly. So this one has a red gradient map on it. What I'm going to do is get my pen tool. And what you can do is just copy copy what I'm going to do with the pen tool. So just get a nice straight line and just basically make a lightning bolt like that. And then you're going to do selection and then click OK and then layer mask it. So now, as you can see, we've got this nice little you know lightning bolt going through the design. We're going to get our brush tool, zoom in a little bit. Um, wherever it is, our brush, make it a little bit smaller, rotate it a little bit just so it's following the lines. And we're just gonna go in and rip bits up. So just like that, you get this nice little ripped up bit of paper. So now we've got this nice clean lightning bolt, but at the same time, it fits in with the design, which is exactly what we want. We want it all to fit together and make sure it looks like one proper design. So just like that, that's perfect. So now, if I zoom out, you can see that adds a nice little bit of extra color that we don't have and we needed. So once you add that color in, it gives that extra bit of focus point. So that's all nice and ripped. Um, we've got all the images on, so you can see where they all are. Now I'm gonna go back to the texture pack. So now we need to bring in some of these colors. So got these uh, paper rips. So I'm just gonna convert that to a smart object, then I'm gonna drag and drop it in. And now I wanna make sure that it's at the top of the design, obviously, like I said before. And now this one is gonna go probably around here. So just about, about there, that's good. And now, as you can see, um, this image, we've sort of not neglected it, but we need to make sure that, um, that it's, wow, well, that it's on the actual, uh, let's just move it above. We need to make sure that it's not being covered by the uh, bit that's above it now. So if we move it up, actually, you need to move the white text as well that's with it. So wherever that white text is, it's there. So let's just move this one up to the white text. There we go, we get a nice effect. Now we can layer mask it out with a nice rip along the bottom, like that, there we go. And that gives us that desired effect. Now we do need to move this one above 
again just because it can't it needs to cut out that image but that's good now we got that in go back to our texture pack let's get another set of rips this one i'm going to move up a little bit because it's probably where it should go so we're going to have it up here i'm going to go to that image get the brush tool small hard brush and then just cut out that bit there and then what we are going to do is go to select this one below him get our brush tool again and then paint in that bit there make it a little bit bigger so like something like that and then we can move it down a little bit again so like that there we go and now obviously it's still overlapping so we're just going to go in and take out that bit that's overlapping now we need to go and get the next bit of texture here so let's just convert that to a smart object and then we can grab this white one here let's grab both of these drag them across just like that that's perfect we can add that in like that lovely so we've got some rips that are bringing the design together now we need this big one here make sure you convert these all to a smart object just so it's easier for you guys so this big rip's going to go probably around there so that's good but now as you can see the red's overlapping so again just go back in get your brush tool start painting away that red bit just so you can bring back in that part of the design so this is the sort of the main aim of this sort of um poster design is getting sort of the papers to rip in the right directions just so it all connects properly otherwise it's just going to look a little bit weird so we have got that done now we've got one more rip up here so we're just going to grab this one convert that to a smart object grab the top one so this one as well convert that to a smart object select both of them let's go and pull them across and now oh i don't know what i've just done there i have put it on top of that layer <laughs> okay uh, let's try that again so let's get this one and this one drag them across drag and drop them in that's better uh okay so this is whereabouts this one's gonna go probably somewhere like that and what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna have to layer mask some of the white one out because it's a bit long so if we just layer mask it to there and now we're gonna have to play around with these images so let's get that one get our brush tool paint away on the top get this one make him a little bit bigger again just so it fills that color get this image paint away that bit as well and that's looking very good so that's pretty much all that done we just have one little bit that we need to go back into the texture pack you can turn the paper rips off now that's all done um, and now we need this red text top right so drag this one and this one's just gonna sit probably around here so just up there obviously in my original design I had it a bit further in but these images are made a little bit bigger so I moved them around a little bit because I only want a little bit of that showing got the white ones down here which look good so we don't really need to worry about the white one up the red and white one at the top right so that's all that done now the last thing probably to do is check that the images all match so this one here we can sort of make a rip on this one so if we get our paint uh, paintbrush tool again get a rip brush put a diagonal and just cut out oh actually no you don't maybe not cut out one out actually um no cut it out and then we can sort of sort of worry about that actually no don't cut it out guys because obviously you're going to see that white background and you're not going to have anything to fill it with so just let that one overlap that one's fine but we can go and layer mask a bit of it out in the uh on this image here so if we just do that that makes it a little bit more effective but once you as you'll see in a minute with the uh, heading that i'm going to drop in from the text pack so we we'll go to the heading here it's going to be quite big so i'm just going to drag and drop this in now this is going to cover a lot of the problems that you would have had you know if you um were using smaller images and then leaving negative space and stuff so with this you don't really need to worry because it's quite a big heading um it looks cool so if you see this ronaldo this is literally just a rama gothic font you can download this online or you can use anton which will be sufficient so don't worry about that so this basic cristiano just a block font and then the Ren uh the, yeah the ronaldo is going to be a stretch so this is what it would have been like that's what it is like now because i've stretched it out pretty simple all you need to do is command t and then hold shift and drag it down and it stretches it that's literally all you need to do so don't worry about that um, and then the rest of it is just textures so if i zoom in now and turn this texture off you'll see the bottom one is just black dots pretty much and then the top one is just the gray sort of ripped up textures so nothing really too in too, too in depth there and then the black background for it is just made from a brush so i've copied this off the original which i'll put on the screen now that they uh, showed literally dropped that into photoshop layer masked well not layer masked but just made an outline around it and then dropped it onto my one 
and then painted in the black with a you know with a brush so that's the uh, heading guys nothing you know no, there's nothing too complicated there there's only a few more things to do now so we're going to go back to this turn this off and you'll see this texture so if i turn this on on here you'll be able to see i've layer masked out the middle bit just because i want to show off some of the uh the uh, in-depth textures you know the um on the white backgrounds otherwise it's going to look a bit bland so if we drag and drop this in now you'll see what i mean so let's drag and drop this in put it around here so somewhere that's good make sure it's not clipping masked because it's not meant to be clipping masked i don't know why it is put that on top now as you can see in the corners here here and here and down here it's added that extra element of texture so this is exactly what we want um you can obviously move it up a little bit if you want more texture to be in so just like that it's exactly what we want so we've done that now pretty much that's it all we need to do now guys is go on to the camera or filter phase so this is pretty simple you know we've done it many times um, but it is going to bring this design to life and bring it all a bit sharper and everything so let's move on to that so what you need to do is go command shift option e so we've got that and now what we're going to do is go to filter camera or filter and play around with this so in the original they had a sort of a yellow haze on there so if you want to create this effect all you need to do is boost this up the yellows here so i'm going to put it about seven and then i'm going to put the exposure to about 30 to make it bright contrast you want to get to about 60. Uh, highlights and shadows you want to be about minus 30 and plus 30. whites minus 30 blacks plus 30. texture you want to boost this because obviously it's quite a high textured image about 70 on the texture clarity to about 40 or 50. dehaze a little bit and then vibrance you can reduce down to about 10. saturation to about 10. as you can see already this looks great so the only problem is that you can see is probably there's a lot of just let me zoom in a bit there's a lot of this blue sort of haze coming out from around the colors this is just because the images are black and white and for some reason i don't know why photoshop does this um it sort of makes it go a bit funny so what you need to do for this is uh go into your color mixer and then go down to saturation and then you'll see these two blues here so what you need to do is reduce these all the way down to zero and all the way down to zero of uh, minus 100 even and then go to luminance and do the same again minus 100 minus 100 and now you can see if i turn this on and off you can see the effect it's had it, you know it's got rid of all that blue so now it's just a pure black and white image which is great so go back up to the curve bring this one down a little bit and then bring it up a little bit so that creates another lovely bit of depth and then we're going to go to details Gonna get sharpening i'm going to put the sharpening up to about 105 noise reduction about 15 color reduction about 15 as well and now that's pretty much it guys only thing we need to do now is add some grain to so about 30 grain and about a minus 10 vignette and that's pretty much it that's perfect obviously as you could as i said before if you want to add a bit more yellow in um just add it like that so about 10 that's a good bit of yellow you know it's really vintage and stuff and you can see all the texture it looks great and then if we can do a before and after you can really see it's popping now so the camera filter obviously you guys know by now is the defining bit of the poster once you've got all the composition right and everything it just makes everything look so much better so guys that's going to be it for this tutorial hopefully you have enjoyed you know i've tried to tried to record this video three times and the corruption it's corrupted and all the files are corrupted so it's my third time recording it hopefully you guys have enjoyed it let me know down in the comments what you think if you want to see more videos like this like some twitter posts or instagram posts that famous you know football pages have done like liverpool man united chelsea man city let me uh you know send me it on instagram follow me on instagram and then send it me um and yeah it can be used as a video idea i can show you guys how to make it and then it will sort of just you know get a bit more interaction going so hopefully you have enjoyed once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.